I haven't told the story of Raymond Qualls. Not much of a story to it. Boy, I had a crush on when I was 13 or so. Real rough looking boy. Beat up Levi's. Messy hair. Terrible, uh. Terrible, uh. Underbite. But he had these beautiful cowboy boots. Shiny chocolate leather. He was so proud of those boots, you could tell. The way he strut around, old arms and old elbows puffed up and cocksure. <laughs> I decided I needed to get a girly pair of those same boots. And I knew, I knew he'd ask me to go steady. I convinced myself of it. He'd see me in those boots and he'd say, Now there's the gal for me. I found the boots in a window downtown and I just went crazy. I'll stay up late in bed rehearsing the conversation I was going to have with Raymond when he saw me in those boots. I must have asked Mama. I must have asked Mama a hundred times for those boots. What you want for Christmas, V? Mama, I'll give it all up for those boots. Bargaining, you know? Mama started dropping hints about a little package she had wrapped up under the tree, about the size of a boot box. Real nice wrapping paper. Now, V, don't don't you cheat on looking there before Christmas morning. Little smile on her face. Christmas morning. I was up like a shop boy under that tree, tearing open that box. There are a pair of boots, all right? Men's work boots, holes in the toes, chewed up laces, caked in mud and, caked in mud and dog shit, caked in mud and dog shit, Lord, 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 my mama, my mama left for days, my mama was a mean, nasty old woman. And I suppose, I suppose that's where I got it from.